Lost.
Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know why it does that. That is so weird. Yeah, yeah, that's... I, I guess so, yeah. That's, that's, that's like, really, really weird, though. I don't, it does that every time. Like, crazy, man. Um, it's crazy. Reminds me of my OBS volume. Yeah, I know. Like, and, and like, what's weird about OBS is it does it by itself. It's like, what? What's going on here? You know, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so I made sure to screen. Mm, that's that's a good idea. That's actually a really good idea. I guess pretty good. So, all right. <laughs> yeah, I actually haven't crafted the uh, cyber jar, but uh, that's basically what this is. It's like jar turbo masking, you know, to where we can do some exceeds dailies. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Unexpected die can be, yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Unexpected die, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, uh, Utopia package, that is true. That's very true. Um, three ox, three exceed off one dude. Yep. Yeah, if you're gonna craft something for dailies, like Utopia is pretty good. Unfortunately for me, I've never been a big big fan of Utopia. I just find it a little too easy. You know what I mean, I guess. <laughs> so you know, yeah. Don't get me wrong, it's cool, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I did not I did not buy one. Uh, corn box. Um, Ragna zero, sure. Um, cook. Okay, and we look some three. Utopia Prime. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold the phone, hold the phone, rewind the video. Where is that Utopia Prime? Where is that? Oh, it's right here. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's actually, that's a good idea. That's, yeah. Unfortunately, I've got something else in mind for my 500 gems, so... We can't actually do it because you know what I was thinking, Iga. I was thinking, um, basically, like the next time we do viewer duels, um, probably tomorrow morning. What we could do is just like, okay, we wait for about, I don't know, what's a good amount of people? Maybe five, eight people to show up, and then we just we literally say to everybody, hey guys. No, no, no. Seriously, we yeah, we wait for like a bunch of people to show up in viewer duels, and we say, hey, okay, you all vote. I'm going to spend 500 gems on any structure deck you guys want. And then, you know, for the rest of the stream, I'll do viewer duels with, like, only the structure deck. Uh, check if I got any full armors. 
full armors? Okay, hang on. Yeah. Uh, negative. I am a meat popsicle. Unfortunately, not. Hmm. Seems like a good card, though. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, it can rank up from a uh, water. Ooh, that's actually really good. It's actually really, really good. So, all right, all right. Um. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a really good one. Um, I will play this. Um, and then the. Gaia Charger? Uh, that could work. <laughs> uh, Gaia Charger is a 7 and a 3. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, nope. Uh, dark arms. Uh, dark arm is. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't. I guess I, I don't have much of anything, but we've got that now. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I, I told you guys. Like, yeah, that's that's exactly that's exactly what I was talking about. I was just like, yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty lazy as far as that. Yeah, free two pop a turn, man, that's good. I wish I could play it, but um, yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about when I was just like, yeah, I'm pretty lazy on uh. I mean, I'm also lazy as far as uh, dematerializing, you know, stuff I've got like nine of, that's, uh, is this nine? Yeah, that's nine. Stuff I've got nine or more cards of. Uh, oh, by the way, I gotta check on some food. I'll be right back. But, uh, yeah, that's part of my laziness. Kashatira is level seven. Oh. Ooh, yeah, Dark Armed and Kashatira? <laughs> now you speak in my language.
Here we go. Oh, you savage. Oh, I see what that, what they did there. Clever. Clever name. All right, what can I do with this hand? Well, not too much. Um, well, actually, I'm going first, right? We've got a free um, uh, King of the Feral Imps, actually. Ooh, damage equals reptiles. Not bad. Yeah, this is always a good card. Uh, usually it gets popped before the battle phase, but you know. Blue Weasel. Is that one that deals 6k damage? Um, you mean, um, Lucky Punch, I get? Or, uh, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. Alright, we'll activate Nyuya. And we will grab a Water Lily. Because that shiz was... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I know what you mean. Uh, in the Dungeon Dice event. Oh, you mean di uh, Dice Jar. Dice, dice Jar, yeah. I did forget about Dice Jar, to be fair. Yeah, Dice Jar is pretty... I will special summon Nunu. Uh-huh. Then I will Delta... I will Delta into... King of the Feral Imps, the best Exceed monster. Yep, is Dice Jar. Do what it's telling you out. Yeah, yeah, Dice Jar is pretty funny looking. All right, that's one Exceed summon. Don't forget, there's a, a what? Greed Jar. Huh? What does that do, Iga? I never heard of that before. Greed Jar. Hmm. Huh. I'll have to look that one up. That's uh. Hmm. Anyway, we will take a uh, look at my hand. Coltal, probably. Coltal. Coltal, okay. All right. And we'll activate a clear new world. And we will set how much equals the reptile. I will pay the five for clear world because, and uh, 
our wind condition is uh, nine two savage. Can't read. So there we go. All right. <sighs> Basically, pot of greed, but you've got to flip it to get the effects. Oh, you mean uh, pot of the forbidden, or uh, you talking about something else? Huh? Greed jar, maat. Ooh, that's cute. That is a pretty clutch draw, by the way. Maat. Oh, I'm sorry. That is mahad. Ooh, we can look at their hand. So let's see. They've got eye to my Ooh, dark magician of chaos. Awesome. I like Dark Mission of Chaos. Okay, Destined Rivals. Okay, okay, okay. They got some stuff. They got some stuff. They got some stuff. All right. Let's see. Okay. It's uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, so they set uh, Destined Rivals. Okay. Which is a bluff. Um, I guess Dark Magic Expanded might matter, but... um. Uh, pitching that for Apprentice Illusion Magician. Okay. 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 They're gaming, chat. They're gaming. Uh, yep. They can add a Dark Magician, which is the best monster on the planet. They, they, it's funny. I like how they baited with the, uh, the blue eyes mate, but they're actually running Dark Magician. That is quite, that's five head, five head, man. Five head. All right. Uh, next... So they've got Dark Magician. Oh, wait, it's in Duelist Nexus. Rip. That's a noose. I see. I see. Gotcha. I got But it's in the TCG, right? It's in the TCG. And it, and it is called Greed Jar. That's pretty cool. Ooh, looks like they didn't read. So for those of you wondering why they aren't attacking, let me read Clear World. Light. Play with your hand revealed. Dark. If you control two or more monsters, which they do, you cannot declare an attack. They're probably just... 92 Savage is like, why game bug? Game no work. Game bug. Why? Why game bug? Oh, well, in phase. <laughs> oh, good. Alrighty. Well, I will draw a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Wink. Alien. Ki Ooh. Pretty good, actually. All right. All right. All right. We're gaming, chat. We're gaming. We're gaming. So what we want to do is uh, read our own clear world. So I'll detach Nunu. Okay, okay, and then I will grab the best reptile, Alien Ammonite. Here we go. All right. Now, this card does have an effect. Um, uh, let's see. Right, okay. Uh, right. So I think they'll be able to dodge damage with Apprentice Illusion, but that's fine. Uh, let's flip damage equals reptile. All right. All right, we're gaming. And then let us... Let me think here. Right, I want to do this. So let's attack into this. Okay, okay, that worked. That worked. I wasn't sure if you could use her effect from the field or no. But, uh, yeah, main phase two, what we want to do, special summon Coltal, because a dark reptilian monster. So there we go. All right. And we will be showing our hand here shortly. So I will summon a Stealth Burster, another level four monster, because, uh, yeah, reptilian Coltal can count as a tuner or non-tuner. And then with a Synchro Shokan, which isn't allowed in this festival. I would normally go into Reptilian Melusine, but instead we'll go into, I think, we will go into, right, this was Special Summon, right, uh, Mahad? Yeah, it was, yes, so let's just do this, and we will overlay these two Delta units, okay, and we will play this right here on the side, uh-huh. Because we know that's Destined Rivals over there. So it's a brick. Um, so we'll go to Silent Honor Arc. Okay, and then we will detach both materials. Okay, detach, detach. Alright, and we will yoink this card. Alright, so... There we go. That way we can absorb Mahad. Alright. I guess I could have done it. No, I couldn't have. Because you see, now I control two monsters... 
and I'm under the own effects of Clear World. So that, yeah, I played it right. I played it right, chat. There we go. And with the Stealth Burster, I will place two counters here. Okay. And then we will simply end the turn. So there you go. All right. Uh, yes, I will play both effects of Clear World. So unfortunately, I have to discard a card, but that's fine. So we'll get rid of Kid. Uh-huh. And... Yep. Pay the five. Uh, yep, to keep Clear World on the field. Okay. We're good. I guess one thing I forgot is that I don't have Cosmic Fortress Golgar here. Um, that being said, it's really not so bad. I can actually get rid of my own king by using um, Stealth Burster if I have to. You know, so it's not too bad. And we got two more Exeed summons. And <laughs> there it is, guys. There's the scoop. There's the scoop. Hey, hey, where's that bowl of ice cream? We got scooping time. All right. Nice. All right. Right. Not bad. So we got two Exerred Summons, which is, you know, pretty good. All right. So let's go check our, you know, festival progression. Um... Right, and we've got an... Uh, oh, yeah, dailies. Uh, good, good, okay. Okay, we want a duel. And that's good. And then... So we need to exceed summon seven times. Um, so, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Leah Ayame. Hi, hey, Leah, how's it going? <laughs> going pretty good here. Um, if you guys don't know Leah, she's pretty cool. Um, yeah, just kind of uh, just a chill streamer. Um, she's, like, pretty gifted musically. She's nice. Um, yeah, if you want, like, um, for all you, you know, YouTube VOD watchers, uh, go over to Twitch and just look up Leah Ayana, uh, Ayame. Leah underscore Ayame. Yeah, she's pretty cool, man. Um, yeah, go over there and... Uh, Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, good to have you. And uh, yeah, we're just doing some, you know, daily missions in the Master Duel, you know. So yeah, but yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, sometimes does like cooking streams, hot tub, like, you know, just, and she's cool. She just, you know, chats and uh, sometimes she plays League of Legends though, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys are, you know, League fans, which I know some of my subscribers are. <clears throat> in fact, they've asked me to play League. Yeah, uh, try following Leah, because she's like, yeah, you know, so. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, no, no, but seriously, though, guys, like, if you watch the VOD or whatever, yeah, go give Leah a follow, you know, so. She's, she's cool, man. She's cool. All right. What can we do here? Um, not much. I think our best play is to hope they overcommit and we set Morphing Jar 2 and pass. I guess uh, MST is pretty uh, <laughs> pretty helpful in certain situations too. But uh, I don't know, man. We might get uh, OTK'd here, but it's all good. I mean, we're just here for the dailies and to uh, yeah, just kind of, you know, get some daily uh, gems. So, yeah, it's all good. All right, Leah. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by and saying hi. And um, I guess, um, I don't know if you're streaming later, but I'll, I'll take a look around and see if you're around. And if if so, I'll, I'll kind of pop in for a second and say hey. So, all right. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Hmm. Um, if I MST this, does this negate? Huh. You know what? Uh, we're going to find out together, chat. You know, sometimes if you pop a, uh, a continuous spell or a field spell, it will resolve without effect. So I don't know if that's what's going to happen here, but we're going to try. Uh, so what it's, it's supposed to do 
is oh hmm that's interesting okay so okay looks like they got the ad anyway so in that case mst did not negate but um uh mufasa and i are watching for a minute oh okay yeah it's just like the goal of this game it's pretty simple um reduce your opponent's life points to zero it's it's nothing like the anime but you know Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of it's kind of like a math game but at the same time it's kind of like a puzzle game it's it's weird it's weird <laughs> so but i appreciate you guys watching though that's awesome Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, there's Photon. Um, that's actually a good recommendation, I go. Um... If you have any interest in Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah, like Duel Links is a pretty good way to get into, you know, if you, and like, not everybody who like, you know, plays Yu-Gi-Oh, you don't have to know anything about the anime or anything, but yeah, Duel Links is a great starter. Um, yeah, because it has like ways for you to work up to modern cards. Yeah, and it teaches you the basics. Um, yeah, and you can just kind of do it while you're on your phone, just kind of. I just try it out, you know. That's actually pretty good, yeah. Um, I should stream some Duel Links. Probably. <laughs> um, yeah, Duel Links is ongoing and strong. It's it's like a really popular game, so that's kind of cool, honestly. Um, let me see here. We draw. Hmm, deja vu. This is Master Duel telling me, hey, you shouldn't have MST'd there. But, uh, <laughs> that's cool. Um, we will... Basically, our strategy here is to basically hold on and try to stall until we draw another... Would be cool to... Yeah, there you go, yeah. That might be, uh... Mm-hmm. That might be pretty cool. Right, so, um... Yeah, that might be a good idea, too. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. So, there we go. We'll set and pass. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Top G, what you got? I do like the Karibo avatar. That's pretty cool. Um, five cards in hand. Hmm, I imagine they've got a way to... Uh, because I gave him two fours, right? Yeah, off of Morphing Jar. And that'll get you into Star Liege. And from there... I mean, they could just tribute someone for Prime, too. That's an option for Photon. Uh, come on in. Entrad. What's up, John? <laughs> oh, lot nothing? Yeah, we're just kind of chilling here, playing some Yu-Gi-Oh. What's going on, man? Yeah, streaming. Yeah. You doing alright? Good. Alright. Ooh, yeah. I guess I'll try to. Uh, nah, I got you, bro. Um, okay, so we'll activate Scape Ghost. And um, with that, we can play. Because they're not doing their. Their main strategy yet, so we're just. As many uh, defensive walls as possible. Um, which is good. Um, you know, this card has an effect to, uh, get rid of our stuff. <laughs> We've just been really lucky that, uh, they're, they're not using it so far. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Uh, lucky for us. Um, they're probably just waiting on another level 8, and then from there should be GG. Wow. Wow. MST. Draw MST. Duster. Hmm. You know, where are these draws when I'm up against Labyrinth, I guess? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, there are certain duels where you want these draws. This is not one of them. <laughs> I swear, though, Master Duel is a troll sometimes. Like it's, like, it's like the computer knows you're up against a deck with no back row. And 
<laughs> it's just <laughs> oh man um i do want to point out that this is a 60 card deck too so i could be drawing literally anything else right now okay you know what you know what <laughs> that's fair that's fair at least we baited top g with our mst and uh <laughs> like what is happening in this duel right now oh my goodness <laughs> Oh, it's all good, man. It's all good. We we we're, we're we're both like we both can't do anything, so it's fine. Um, oh, oh, uh oh, that can't be good. Yeah, if you're paying half your life points, it's usually a good effect. Uh, pay half your life points. Target two monsters in your graveyard. Bring them both out. Negate their. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's a pretty. Do I own this card? Numbers last... You know what? Let me write this in chat. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's a pretty good card. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Numbers last hope. Numbers last hope. Wow, that's actually a really good card. Wow. Um... Okay, and then there's Baguska. Yeah, that's... I was afraid of that. <clears throat> but, hmm. Well? Huh. Wait, they're actually attacking with Baguska. Huh. Okay. Okay. It's from the pure... Ah. Ah, okay. Thanks, I guess. So I... Probably... Maybe Zeus? Yeah, and then along came Zeus. Bam, 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 bam. Yes, yeah, so... Nah, I don't know about this one. I think we may just have to take our 50 medals to go, chat. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Uh, hmm. All right, well, let's get some... While we're here, getting um, our 50 medals to go in a to-go bag... Let's accelerate this. I will summon Coltsul. I will wait for a response. Hi, Ellie. I will switch scapegoats to, I'm streaming right now, by the way. I don't know if you, uh, yeah. Uh, I will activate Called by the Grave to get the banish uh, lifetime daily. And I will banish this card. Hmm, that's a good card though. Uh, this one right here. Wow. Yeah, I guess if you're playing in the festival, uh, craft this card. And it's treated as a galaxy. Ah. Yeah, that's like really good. And then we will simply... Uh, now, if they want a BM, they can uh, use Zeus. But I'm going to just try to wrap this up. So, go, my ghost token. Attack that Zeus. <laughs> All right. And then we will main two. And we will... Bluff. We will bluff a trap card. And I will end the turn. So, yeah. They'll probably use Zeus on end phase. Or no. Oh. Okay. Much respect. So. Yeah. What's up? Hi. What's up, John? <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to figure out, in this analogy, what are the fish sticks? Fish. Wait, what? 
No, because I know the, what the fish is. Fish. No, I know what fish is. But like, fish sticks? Fish. <laughs> oh, 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 I see. I see. Fish, fish. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> right, yeah, the... Okay, okay, the... <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, I, I'll be honest. Like you almost lost me there. You almost lost me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That's just like a personal little. Okay, okay. <laughs> like what? <laughs> but uh. All right, guys, uh, chat, I guess we're going to be able to see what this card can do. You know, it's it's funny. I, I uh, MST'd this turn one, so I'm not sure we got to see the full potential of Galaxy 100, but we're about to find out. And I'm not, honestly, I've never seen any uh, Photon or um, Galaxy Eyes player play this, so I'm kind of curious myself to see just how good this card is. Um, now, I know it has the Foolish Burial, which I guess does help. There are certain cards you want in your graveyard for a Photon player. And that's one of them, yeah. So because with that, you can add... Oh, I just realized this. That's why they play this. That lets you add... It lets you mill this jumper, which lets you add... Hang on, hang on, let me scroll down. This... Because it's a Galaxy Eyes card. Wow. The synergy, man. Does someone need to... <laughs> no, no, no. I guess it's just, you know, my brain's on um, autopilot. <laughs> Normal summon back C. Hell yeah. No, my brain's on autopilot, and I literally didn't connect. Hey, good job on MSTing this card. It actually does do something. Um, what it does is let them add whatever spell and trap they need to. Uh, also, Galaxy Expedition is a premature burial for Galaxy Eyes. So that's, yeah, that's really good. Uh, unfortunately for them, we got rid of their one of. So, because I'm pretty sure a card this good as, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure a card as, as good as Numbers Last Hope, it's only at one in the festival. You know, Konami tends to miss a lot of band worthy stuff. I got a feeling they hit this one. So. Photon Jumper is, eh, you can see from the fact that you, but no, 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 no. Photon Jumper is the key to this whole deck, and it's busted. The key to Photon Jumper is using it over and over and over. Uh, they just haven't gotten the recycle tool yet. Trust me, Galaxy Eyes has, like, plenty of tools to recycle. Uh, it's just, you know, we're getting lucky, they're getting unlucky. But I... I'm familiar with like the Galaxy Eyes combos as well as their spells and traps. And I can tell you for a fact that this combo is really good. Really good. So, yeah. Also, there's plenty of other cards to just like bring out level fours, have the effect, you know, negated. Then when it goes back to the grave, the effect's online. So, yeah. Maxi beat down. Hell yeah. Show me how it's done, Top G. So sometimes this is what happens in Master Duel. Like, I played all my combos, Top G's played all, you know, their combos, and then you just gotta, you gotta normal summon a hand trap and pass. Um, what's really funny about where this duel is, is setting Morphing Jar would actually help them, potentially. So I'm actually gonna normal summon this. <laughs> Hell yeah, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! as intended by Kazuki Takahashi. Normal summon morphing jar. Hell yeah, bro. Look at that forbidden jar. <laughs> uh, all right, let's really BM here. Let's really BM. Uh, old man says no. That's right. Get that droplet out of here. <laughs> what is this duel, bro? <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I can't wait for them to set Ash Ketchum and Joyous Spring next. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so their deck's doing stuff now, which is no bueno. 
But um, yeah, they did use Droplet effectively because they want this card in the graveyard, obviously. But anyway, Jar, uh, go. Jar smash. Get that, get that. What is Maxi anyway? Is it like a cockroach? What is that? I don't even know. But uh, we destroyed that. And now we should lose because uh, I paid half my life, so. <laughs> that was That's going to be a funny highlight, though. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's funny that, about that is I couldn't risk setting Morphing Jar because let's say they just attack with Max C. You know, there's a pretty good chance Morphing Jar gives them an, a level 4 that they need. And then they just, yeah. They go into Star Liege, uh, Photon Lord, and then, yeah. So, my Galaxy deck is better. Um, no, Iga. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, there are uh, Galaxy Eyes versions that, you know, win quicker. But I like this one. This one's more of a, like, control version, which, yeah, I kind of like better. You know, I, I, I do. I do. Because, no. like, 75% of decks, all decks that exist, can OTK. But only the, the like... The really crazy decks can you like take take a meal effect and then you know loop it over and over and over, yeah. So <laughs> sure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Prime Photon Dragon. Look at that. Hell yeah, they're going out with a bang right here. Which honestly, I don't blame them uh, because you get more rewards in the festival the more times you you know exceed. And of course, like in general, the more damage you do, uh, the more uh, you get in Master Door rewards. So, hell yeah. Look at that Prime Photon Blast. Pretty cool. Is it really control? There's no back row. Yeah, it's control. Trust me. Trust me, Iga. I'm a, I am I can read. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. No, no, seriously, though. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what's in the deck. Let's take a look because that that'll tell everything. So, um, by the way, you might want to close my door. I'm kind of loud. Um, confirm opponent's deck. We have, yep, jumper. We have this. We have yep, this yep. We have this. Mm-hmm. And we have, yep. So they really want to use the combo with this. And jumper because you got three of it and then you can get any spell and trap but the main one you want basically this is a numbers hope 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 and these two if they are milled are number hopes so you kind of got uh how many ways to get to your engine one two three four five six you got like Realistically, I guess you can also use this. Um, yeah, you got like eight ways to get to your engine, which pretty good. Also, I don't think this card's limited. Let's see. Uh, the extra decks, you know, what it's supposed to be. But let me look this up because I'm really curious myself. Uh, edit deck. Okay. Here we go, chat. And let's look up. Uh, that was awesome. Number, I've never seen this card before. Numbers Last Hope. It is not limited. Wow. Huh. Maybe they could only afford the craft material for one. But obviously, <laughs> you want to play as many of this as possible. Because that is just too good. Yeah, that's like really good. That's a really good effect. So, honestly... By our opponent there. Pretty nice deck, yeah. By Top G. Okay. Be for real. Be for real about what? Kansas City has 41 to... Uh, on, uh, on what? What is that? 40... <laughs> Well, they're up against the Bears, right? <laughs> there we go. Um...
Um, it was 34 to 0 at half. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, the Bears defense is trash. Can we can we just be real about this chat? Uh, the Bears are part of what I like to call the NFL tankery. It's where you're not trying to win. You're trying to lose as many. It's the tank rivalry. And the goal, right, is to lose as many games as possible <laughs> in the season, much like Arizona, and get the highest draft pick you can get. The, here are the teams in the tankery. The Carolina Panthers, Arizona Cardinals, the Bears, the Chicago Bears, they're in the tankery. And the last team is the Houston Texans. It is the tankery, the rivalry. And that is one of the most interesting, the new run in the NFL. And yeah, the Bears defense is trying for years. Like Aaron Rodgers' own team, bro. Like, they have Patrick Sertan. They have a, who else is good on? Uh, I can't name one, I can't name one lineman or back. Like, <laughs> I, I can't name one, bro. Seventy. Yeah, look at that. There's zero chance they got seventy points. Yeah, so the Dolphins won to twenty. And what that shows me is that Russell Wilson not only burned the roast, but he, uh, let's just say, he left the oven on overnight and burned the roast. All right. So we got some dailies. Um, we got all of the dailies done, so we're good. Um, what should we do now? I think we will do a little ranked. And we will play right here. And we'll try this thing. All right. So, um, that's all good, bro. I just don't want to get grease on your phone. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That that must have hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Hmm, that makes sense. That makes sense. And then, you know. Hmm. Oh, so that's why you. Yeah. Oh, man. Like. Hmm, yeah. But. Like, yeah, that's well. At least you made it back in one piece, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. So. That's fair. Mm 
That score is crazy, though. Dolphins 70, Broncos 20. That's embarrassing. Like, Russ. Like, seriously, Russell Wilson, what are you doing, bro? Just retire. Russell Wilson, this, this, is, this is your wake-up call. Listen, Russ. Retire. Retire two nights and save yourself. Re retire mid-season, bro. That's how bad that is. <laughs> retire in the public Yes. Walk off the field. Yes. Honestly, the moment they hit 60, he should have walked off the field. <laughs> right. Exactly. No, no, no. Pey Peyton Manning retired the right way. Peyton Manning won the Super Bowl, and then he walked off in, in, in glory. You know what I mean? No. Tom Brady, his last throw was in the Dallas Cowboys. So, uh, but, yeah, that, that, seriously, Russ. They cooked you 70-20. to 20. Just walk off the field, bro. Just walk off. And, like, like trust me, we would all understand, like, like clearly you can't do yeah like and it's like clearly Russ you can't do what you thought you used to be able to do you know what I mean and it's like at some point you just have to accept reality and accept that you Russ you your mind is cooked your body's cooked your play is cooked your arm is cooked you cannot play and win Super Bowls Russell Wilson I'm talking to you the viewer <laughs> Russ this is your wake-up call, because I know you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player in, in secret. And listen here, Russ. <laughs> Number one, find God. Number two... <laughs> Number two, Russell Wilson. Number two, get deep in faith. Number three, all that time you were going to do football, pray to God. Take, take, take a one... <laughs> yeah, that you get that time back. Take a one-year sabbatical. And every time you think about picking up a football, pray, and then come back the next year, you know, work out and stay in shape in, in the meantime. Come back, like, when everyone's forgotten about you in, like, a year or two. And then maybe your prayers will be answered and you won't burn the roast anymore. Russ, I'm talking to you, Russell Wilson, the viewer. Yeah. yeah. Get good. Find God. And retire. Retire now. Yeah, yeah. And and now we have a message for my, my nephew. Russ, Russell Wilson, this is for you. Listen, Russell Westbrook <laughs> retired. You're too bad for you. Your stats. <laughs> too good. Bro, he, he doesn't take it seriously. You're like James. Bruh. <laughs> Wow. 
Right. Right. Yeah. Your days are over. Have that, especially you. Wilson. How do you lose Dalton? How do you let them get 70? How do you let them get 70? I'll tell you how. Okay, the the only recipe for an NFL, NFL team to get 70, listen, John, this is true. Your offense is doing nothing. Three and out, three and out, interception, fumble. Inter that, let me like, tell you like let literally, me literally, bro, the only way it's mathematically possible is three and out, three and out. And like you, Russ, you're the quarterback. You control the offense. It is your job to at least waste seven minutes of game time and let them put up, you know, 50. That's acceptable. That's it, right? They had the ball, what yeah. they would do is just hand it. Exactly. That's exactly what they did the whole time. Listen, Russ, you've got to take care of the ball. And I know you already threw three interceptions in this game. I don't even have to look at the highlights. The fact that the score's at 70 means you had one fumble and two interceptions. Also, it means that you weren't getting first downs. Get get first downs. You know who can get first downs in the NFL? And I don't praise this quarterback at all. Justin Jefferson. You know, for the Bears? As much as I don't like the Bears, that guy can get first downs. You know what I'm saying, John? As much as I don't every like every guy, once in a while he'll take off and he'll get a first down. As much as I you know. I'm sure they will Bingo. Score. Bingo. Tyler Heineke. <laughs> Can what get the more. Hell, that's a, that's the quarterback for the uh, Commanders. Can get more first downs in the game than Russell Whoa. Wilson. These are facts. Tyler Taylor Heineke oh. is a more consistent first down getter than Russ. This is the reality we live in, guys. You don't believe me? Go look at the Broncos highlights. Like, what? like Russ, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Come on. Hey, oh, man. sorry. But going back. Mm -hmm. But still, you are a disgrace. I like to come. Somehow, as it is. Oh, bro. Bro. You know, that's fine. But at least they're not getting clapped as bad as Russell Wilson did today. How, how are you? Like. How do you have that many three and outs? Because I know that's what happened. Like, for it to be mathematically possible for the Dolphins to get 70, 70. We're talking in NFL, 77, zero. What's that, legend? Um, Dan Marino. Yeah, yeah, Dan Marino. Uh, and that the quarterback of the Dolphins is Tua Tagovailoa. So. But, like, I'm proud of the Dolphins' defense today, too, because in order to get 70 points... Right. They, they must have had aggressiveness, heart, you know, form tackling. That's important. Basically, the first guy who was there wrapped him up. You know what I mean? And didn't let him get, you know, any further. You know what I mean, John? Like, that's... Yeah. That's good. Um, You know, form tackling and the fundamentals of football... And, and uh, uh, of course, the the big guys up front must have controlled the line of scrimmage. The fundamentals of football are just as important as, you know, anything. And, you know, in order to hold a team to 20 and you get 70, you got to have form tackling. Um, you've got to have defensive awareness and good communication. So, really, props to the Dolphins' defense. I know a lot of people are going to be like, I know a lot of people are going to look at the offense and like, man, they scored 70. No, no, no. In order for that to happen, the defense had to be doing something right. So, you know. Yeah. Why are you? That's a, that's a whole nother discussion. We'll discuss that next week on the NFL podcast with, uh, with, J, with, with J and J. J and J. Yeah, the, well, that'll be the J and J podcast next week. Uh, the Ko Ko Konami, 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 yeah. the Konami. <laughs> Why is everyone only getting? I don't know, bro. Right. 
Yep. Right. I... I don't know, man. That's... yeah, that's... I don't know about that. That's good. That's a good one. Nah. You really don't. Um, well, I mean, it, it it was it was like a really long time ago, but still, yeah, yeah. Necessarily, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, the Falcons have, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's not the Cowboys. Yeah, yeah, they have, didn't they? With with Madden, John Madden was the coach. I, I want to say they did. Yeah, yeah, with John Madden, I'm pr I'm like ninety nine percent sure. Yes, they have with Drew Brees. Yeah, for sure. That's yeah. Yeah, like. No, it's it's not the Forty ers um No, I'm trying I'm trying to think of the same team you're thinking of and hello, I came here to say thank you for uh oh, it is um I think your name is Let's see if I can say this right. Um Ah uh, yes, uh Kroichi. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Good to have you. Uh Okay, nice. Um, to banish. Oh, what were you saying, John? It yeah, yeah. Think, be, of, think of the team. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the Texans why? haven't won. Kind of a new they haven't won. Um. I didn't... Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is in the West. Um. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Um, yeah, Denver. Denver has. Yeah, but it, I mean, it was a long time. John Elway. John, it is Denver. You're right. Yeah, it, it is Denver indeed. Um, no, no, there's no team in Oregon. Right. You know. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There are like quite a bit. One more. Uh. Yeah, so and you said Broncos, so there is one. Um, Seattle. Wait, in California, in California. Um, man, I'm drawing a blank, man. Because there's the 49ers. Yeah, no, no, it's the uh, ah, man. <laughs> so yeah, in California, is is San Diego the Chargers, the the L A Chargers. Have they won a Super Bowl? They've been to one, but they lost, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. The the, the Chargers have been, but they lost, right? I, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. 
Oh, the L.A. Rams. Yeah, the Rams. The Rams did win the Super Bowl. But Stafford, like, everyone yeah, forgets. Everyone yeah, every, every everyone forgets about that one, but they did. Yeah, thank you, John. Thank you. I, I knew we were forgetting someone. Like, man, it's like, dude. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I, I, the Rams. How could I forget? Well, you know, I always, I, it's true. But I always associate the Rams with the loss, uh, the St. Louis Rams, because that's where they used to be, bro. They used to be the St. Louis Rams. So, yeah. Now they're the now they're in Vegas. Yeah. Final are Right. Mm hmm. Aguirre. Yep. Carpenter. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Mm hmm. All right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be surprised. Uh, who's on the list? The Browns. Well, yeah, they the have. Lions, they have, yeah, Texans yeah. Mm. Have one. Oh, well, the Texans have one. One? Oh, they have. No, they. they oh, oh. Games. Right, right, right. I was gonna say, I know the Texans have not. Uh, no, you know. So. <laughs> oh, he did Hmm. Okay. 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 Let's see if we were right. No, never. <laughs> right. The Bengals have number one. <laughs> Right. Yeah, we got the Jaguars. So. Lions. Lions. You got it. You guys. Yeah. So we yeah. nailed them all. We we got all of them. We we, we, we got all of them. Questions. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So it's all good. It's all good. Ever. Yeah. That's uh, that's a whole nother, uh Mm, yeah, yeah, it's Cleveland. You got it. <laughs> the Cleveland show. Speaking of Cleveland show. Ah, bro. Got me. Um, we'll go with Kashtira Birth here to start. Uh, I apologize for the brief stay. but I, I, I know, it's understandable. Uh, and, um... Yeah, it was fun um, being in the raid with uh, to visit your stream, and I hope we can uh, talk to you again sometime. Uh, but thanks for stopping by. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I'll just type it here because um, have a good night. All right. Uh, special summon. Okay. And then, oh, played Max C. Oh, I didn't even notice that. But with Unicorn, I will add Birth. I don't think I'll special summon any more chat. Uh, well, actually, I can't. Uh, one thing I will do, though, play this face down right here. We're going to try to slow them down. And then we will attack. I, yeah, I mean, uh, well, nah, I should have. I should have put that together but you know it, it is what it is uh, we did we did pretty good though overall like like we were going through the list and, and it's just like like you you thought of the rams i was like oh how could i forget you know you know but yeah uh, I was, it's I like so happy for oh yeah like everybody was happy for stafford and for yeah, like the I, the I, city you know like I yeah to right the, blew out my, my final goal. yeah you know so, so i was like Goal. Right. Yeah, it's almost like uh, you know, uh, karma or you know, yeah, kind of. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it was. It was the Bucks. Yeah, it was. So. Yeah, you know. <laughs> For what they did to them, you know, the year before, so.
Mm. I think they won by three. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the the Chiefs won by three. Yeah. Win. Then it's I like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's you know. No, it's like no, no, it's not Burrowhead. I'm sorry, that, that 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 that's arrogant. That is arrogance at its finest, you know. So, ooh, Royal Aluber, ooh, cute. That is fancy. I'm oh, sorry, John. I was I was just admiring the cart the card artwork. <laughs> yeah, they got a really shiny Yu-Gi-Oh card. Everyone knows that's the real value, shininess. I'm kidding. Do 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna wait for them to activate branded fusion and then I'm gonna drop uh SL. So Alright. Show me that branded fusion. Oh well that's uh hmm. I guess I could do that as well, so whoops. You are under the limit of summons because you have summoned twice. Show me that MST! <laughs> Nobody runs MST. Do 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 do. Oh, looks like you banished your Despia for no effect. Whoops. All right. Well, that went pretty well. In phase. Alrighty. I draw a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Duru monster card. Duru monster card. Duru. Doodle. I activate Kashira Birth to attempt to resurrect Unicorn. Response. I will special Shokan this monster in attack mode. Yeah. Alright. Next, I will simply uh, activate the effects to add another birth. All right, and with that, all our our deck is clear of births, so that's good. Next, excuse me. Next, we will battle Faz, and then I will declare an attack. Uh, there is Magmu. What? There is Magnum. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I will activate the effect of Unicorn. Uh -huh. And we will banish another monster face down. Uh huh. Yep, you can add a Yabba Dabba Doo. Alright. Mm -hmm. I will banish the second Mirror Jade. Bye bye, Mirror Jade. Very good. Ain't got to worry about that no more. Uh, what is this? Branded Beast. Ah, clever, yeah. So this will get rid of a Yu-Gi-Oh card that we own. Summon Limit. Mm. Interesting. Continue your main phase. Sure. <laughs> I'm not under Summon Limit. Uh, thanks, amigo. So let's see. We will activate. We will summon this. Ucelia, the Dulemo Beast. Very well. Then we will do this. And we will play. Um hmm. I could go Draco Sack, Big Eye. Man, I've got options here. Dark Arm Dragon? Hell yeah. Um pretty good. Uh banish one card from your graveyard. Hmm, that's pretty darn good. Um, I think the play here is, I could also BLS, wow, hmm, BLS, which would have, uh, target prevention and, uh, the boost, I gotta think about this one, chat, hmm, oh, thank you, that's really, I appreciate it, uh, let me think here, hmm, 
But we can't win this turn, I don't think. Well, can we? Hmm. Um. Hmm. I think this is the play. This is the play, chat. This is the play. Okay, so we battle Fox, right? We battle Fox. We attack this. Yeah, we battle Fox. We damage. We damage again. Okay. Then, main phase two. This is the play, chat. This is the play. Delta summon. A burn card. Now I will overlay Pusilier and the Radian that you gave me. And we'll put this in defense mode. Ideo. I very soul. It dies. Black. Fuck this. Metal. Dragon. Player. Mode. And then. Sorry, John. What's up? And we will end the turn. Now, if they've got a kaiju or something, you know. Oh, well. But uh, this is the best way. Yeah, I think. So. Hey, what's up? I say, I liked the Panthers when they had Cam Newton. I mean, it's, it's kind of hard to hate Cam Newton. You know, when he was good. Uh, he was like, Cam Newton was a, um, how do I describe Cam Newton? You know how a lot of quarterbacks can just take off and run these days? He was like, he was the guy after Michael Vick, but before Justin Jefferson, if that makes sense. Well, no, no, Lamar Jackson. He was the guy before Lamar Jackson, but after Michael Vick. Yeah, who had the same style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like right in that sweet spot. So, you know, you know, yeah, I, I'm streaming, by the way. Uh, speaking of stream, oh, I actually have to go, chat. I have to go. Um, yeah, and also, Russell Wilson, know thyself. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. These are facts. These are facts. Oh, that was horrible. That was a, that was a horrible tragedy, man. Man, it, yeah, you know, in Minecraft, so that that was a horrible tragedy, man. With the truth, with the truth of the world. Yeah, in Civilization 3, it's a simulation, and we're going to do it with the truth. Uh, but thanks for all of you who are being in here. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, we are going to raid... Uh, we live in the Matrix! Right. The Matrix. Open, your, open your mind. We're going to raid... Um, there is a Twitch streamer that I'm thinking of that plays Yu-Gi-Oh!, um, let's see if they're on right now. But yeah, thank you all for being here. Uh, this was really just kind of a short stream. We do the dailies and yeah. Um, I will do a longer stream a little bit tomorrow, kind of close to 4 a.m., maybe 5. Uh, if you guys are interested in that. Um, but yeah, for the, uh, YouTube audience, I just want to say, yeah, appreciate you guys. Thanks for getting us to 250 subs. Uh, it feels good, man. It's a, it's a nice little milestone. And we've reached like 100 within like 60 days. So that's awesome. You guys rock. And um, yeah, love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. And really, thanks for the suggestions to try streaming. Because I'm starting to really like it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we will uh, raid. Yes, this person is online. So let's give him a little raid. Um, he, and we're going to raid. This person, um, okay. there we go. Um, oh, oh, okay. So apparently, it says on the command like I'm not allowed to raid at this time. That's pretty weird. Um, but you know what? We're just gonna end stream. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. You know, sometimes Twitch Studio does some weird stuff. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, gotta go. I uh, hope you all have a good night. And uh, yeah, I mean, remember, if you're struggling in life, try believing in the heart of the cards. Hey, baby. Bye bye. I don't even know where I'm at. Bye. I'll see you last quarter. <laughs> you want to say you love her? All right. Oh, 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 oh that's a. Oh, okay, okay. I was just like, you know, I don't, I don't know if you guys are at that stage yet. That's. Ooh. That, 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 that could have been awkward, guys. You, 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 you.